important single thing is that anybody who is diagnosed as HIV positive today should live a normal lifespan right. Right, with the right therapy. So that means, one, that people must know their HIV status, that's yeah. very important. Two, uh, they must then have access to therapy and therapies become very easy as soon as you are positive from the START study, which is one of the new studies, you need treatment so straight away. So there's no need for lots of laboratory monitoring, monitoring everybody who's HIV positive needs to be on treatment for life. And one of the most impressive things at this conference is the enormous range of treatments which are available made by the generic companies in India, which are relatively cheap. Now, one of the problems of it with HIV is of course that it affects disproportionately the people with no money at all uh, who can't afford even these moderately priced medicines yes. and they need government and international support to obtain treatment but it is it would be a disgrace if right. people are dying because of these medicines which are now very cheap were not made available to them right. now i think that one of the things that we understand from different areas of the world is that we can largely demedicalize this mm -hmm. the poor with the best people to give most of the treatments are other people who are HIV infected mm -hmm. they are much better uh, at explaining why it's so important to take treatment and as personal examples of people who are better it, it is often a good role model to ensure that treatment is taken right. mm -hmm. so that we need to demedicalize the care. It is crazy that the doctors maintain control and say you must come every month and have a blood test, I will only give you a month's medicine, mm. and many people can't afford to get there. So mm. we should be giving six months of medicine and we should be using uh, peer people to take the medicine to the local mm -hmm. communities rather than expecting the communities to travel hundreds of miles to see the doctor who is often late and doesn't bother to talk to them. So. I think we need to change the model and the WHO are doing very good work because we now have so many options available that you know you take for example and include terms a white pill until you fall ill again mm -hmm. and actually if you take the white pill regularly you will never fall ill but right. say you know for two months you can't take it for some mm -hmm. reason or you run out of supply then there will be a pink pill available and you take that forever and then the you can't take that then the options are either to die or there may be a green pill to take as well. So medicine is becoming very simple, you know, and we need to um, probably monitor people much less. Yeah. Now, of course, the reality is that monitoring is also becoming both easier and cheaper. Yeah. And so now uh, there are CD4 machines, which we see again in the exhibition hall here, which are really very cheap and viral load. Uh, perhaps down to as little as $10, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 100 rupees, 200 rupees, will, are, are really feasible. So uh, how much monitoring you need, I think, is arguable if you can get the group of people to take the treatment. So those are very important developments. I think another very important development is the realisation that if you are taking the treatment and there is no virus in your bloodstream, i.e. You, you're what we call undetectable, then you, you will not infect your sexual partner. Mm -hmm. That's the simple and true message. Now all doctors get worried and they make caveats and you mustn't take drugs that interfere and you mustn't have diarrhea. And I agree with all those, but that is the truth. If you are undetectable, you will not transmit HIV. Mm -hmm. Now, you may need to wear a condom to prevent other sexually transmitted diseases, but for HIV, you will not transmit it if you are undetectable. Mm -hmm. And so really the epidemic should slow down. One of the um, modelling problems is that this ability to treat quite a lot of people and that the people that you treat don't transmit the disease that has not resulted mm -hmm. in a reduction in the epidemic. Mm -hmm. And the two issues there are we are still a lot of people who don't know their status, mm -hmm. who will transmit it to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and that's probably uh, the most important thing uh, for uh, continuing transmission. Uh, and also that starting really early is probably very important because the most 
risky period for transmitting to, to others is those few months after zero conversion. Mm -hmm. So, but I think that's a great advance. And the other very important advance is what we now call pre-exposure prophylaxis. If you want to be a naughty boy tonight, uh, and you want to make sure you don't get HIV, mm -hmm. we now know if you take a pill, mm -hmm. and you take a pill tomorrow and the next day, then HIV is not a problem. Mm -hmm. This is pre-exposure prophylaxis. And in this country, you could obtain those tablets for the cost of a packet of cigarettes. So people can protect themselves against HIV. Mm -hmm. These, I think, are the really mm -hmm. bummy. There are many other important developments I admire, mm -hmm. what the generic companies are doing, some of the combination pills, relatively cheap, some of the newer medicines, very free of side effects. Right. So people can live normal, healthy lives. So I think yeah. that uh, uh, all scientists in the field, any field, have to be careful that the quality of they de their data is appropriate, mm -hmm. particularly when patients are going to worry and get stressed about these things, which are very, HIV is a very public issue in much of the developed world, where many of the uh, um, community know as much or more than the doctors about these diseases. So I, I think what I was trying to say to Mark this morning was to put it in perspective and say the data that these comorbidities are much commoner in HIV itself mm -hmm. is very poor. The data that HIV uh, affects a group of people who have many comorbidities is very strong. So mm -hmm. in UK about 40% of all HIV positive people smoke compared with 10% of the population. Mm -hmm. 50% of them are very poor compared with the general population and therefore eat bad food. People who get HIV, unlike you who will take a pill tonight before they go out, um, are risk takers. That's how they get HIV. They're more likely to be alcoholic. So there are a whole range of reasons why their lifespan will be shorter, where they may have cardiovascular disease, where they may dement and have a number of comorbidities. The evidence that in a well-treated HIV patient who is undetectable, that he will develop cardiovascular disease more frequently, can, that's more, dementia more frequently, will prematurely age, I think is non-existent. Okay. As you know, as you saw me there, I hesitated a, a bit around cancer. Yeah. And the reason I hesitated around cancer, I think there is good evidence that a number of other viruses which are themselves sexually transmitted often will lead to cancer and HIV people are more likely to have such viruses so composes sarcoma associated virus will lead to a variety of lymphomas and a variety of skin cancers this is commoner in HIV uh, a lot of the lymphomas themselves are related to viruses which are probably acquired at least in part by sexual activity and, it, and so again these cancers are commoner. HPV is a good example, anal cancer uh, very strongly associated with, with HIV, HPV which is commoner in people who have acquired HIV through unprotected intercourse and so they get mm -hmm. HPV as well. So the cancer argument is a more difficult one. But I, I was saying this morning that I think it is wrong to say, when the evidence is very poor, mm -hmm. that all HIV patients are going to dement, for example. Mm -hmm. There is no evidence that's true. Mm -hmm. There is good evidence, of course, that untreated HIV mm -hmm. patients at the end of their disease lifespan dement. But people who are not demented today and take antivirals, I think there is no data they will ever dement. Mm -hmm. right. What is the data is that if they don't take their pills, they will die. Yes. And they will infect their loved ones. Right. They take the pills, they will not die, and they won't infect anybody else. Mm -hmm. That's the message.